Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Factorio and our bat challenge. That is the Bob's Angels Thousand Challenge. Here, like this. And I'm going to go into there, I'm going to offset on one side only, because I only want it coming out onto one side of the belt just on there. Like that, and then it's going to pick up... No, it's, it's picking up behind me there. I want to pick up there and then drop it out onto that side of the belt. Right, that's perfect. That's exactly where that's got to go. And then I'm going to need power line in here, power line in here. So far, so good. Next up, I need to put an inserter here. An inserter, a splitter here. And I need to put... A splitter here like this. And nothing else fancy needs to happen with that one. That one will just go into there like that. And it puts the paper onto the correct side immediately. And then runs it down here. So now I need to get ahead of that. So that I can split that off to the place that we want. So we got paper and we got resistors running along here. And it's, this is where I need to get them to. This right here. So I want to go... In the actually, I need the paper coming out. Right, we're going to have to do two on this one. I'm going to have to do it like that, I think. And no. Get rid of that one. I've gone and put extra resistors on the line on there, which is no good. So let's just remove them a minute. There. There, was a, there was a few extras that went in on there. So we just clear them out of the way a second. And then what I want to do is I want to go to this one. And I need to filter on here. Paper. Oops. On the right. Paper needs to be filtered out of that one and come down here. So that we have no more paper coming out. So I'll take that out of there. And then I will go back up to this one and clear more stuff out, which is going to be that stack of paper that's just gone through. Right, that's good. And then we come back over here. So this one here needs to drop down like that. I've just got two resistors on there. And this one has just got a regular splitter on there. But what I actually need is for that to... Yeah, this is looking a bit of a pig's ear of a job here, really, isn't it? All right, let's remove that. Remove that so that I don't keep losing bits everywhere. And let's try that again, shall we? We'll put one there like that. And that one, I will put a paper filter on it. Uh, that's actually going to go onto the right-hand side. And then the next one is going to come out. I want to do this the other way around, I think. Copy that and put that in there. And then this one here, remove the remove the filter altogether. That one's got no... No, I don't want that to have no filter. That's, that's why this is a problem. I've got to filter the paper out first. There. I've got to filter the paper out before I can filter the other bit out. So then this one is going to go down here like this. The paper is going to come out here like this. It doesn't matter which way round they are when they come off of there. So then that one will go over here, down, and join into there. And then we will do the up belt for that one, which will go into there. And that will allow paper and other bits to go through. I just need to join that one in, into there like that. Perfect. Right, that's better. That's what we actually needed to do. So now I've got that one. And then that one has also got to come down. So I've got to get two belts running from here. So we're going to put one belt there. And that's going to go to that point. And it's going to run down here like this. It's going to go a bit further. And it's going to run to there. Uh, let's just do, let's deal with this one belt first and then we can come back and we can get the other one. 
that is going to be carrying down the tinned copper wire that we need. Let's get rid of that in a second. It can go out a little bit further. Right. Run that over to there. That's the first bit. And then the next bit will do exactly the same, except that I need to start from the other end. In order to better run it all the way through. And I should be able to run that down relatively easily, starting from here. I just need to, like, bring it out. I want to avoid that a little bit, if I can. Bring you over here. And go like that. That way I am avoiding it. And then down to there, like that. Now we can go with the underground belt. And I can run right next to the existing belt that I've got up there. So if I remove those other items, I can put you into there like that. Then I can come down here and I can do this. Except that one's got to go there and then underneath. And then we'll do it and join it up again. Like that. And then that one will go there. Belt, belt, pick this one up, like that, and then run these along here like this, and that will give me tinged copper wire on one of these belts, and also the other components on the other belt, and then I've got this liquid resin in here for the last little bit, so that should be all of the components for the green circuits right here. Go to craft. Solder. I need to get solder coming down. We'll see if we can join that onto that belt. And that can bring it in. So I've got the resistors. The capacitors down here. We'll make those on site in a minute. We'll get that set up. And then the green circuit boards in here. I've got the tinged copper wire there ready to make them. Uh, I've got the paper down here ready to make those. And we've got the liquid resin that is being constructed down here anyway. So far so good. Next, let's go back up this way and see how we're getting on with... Like, everything is filling up. All of this is filling up completely. So that's now all completely full right the way through there. So the next thing that we've got... I don't know if you just noticed that. There was a little tiny bit of soil that is now running in through. So soil is now starting to make its way up here. Which means that we're going to be getting seeds coming in. Unfortunately, there, despite the fact that we've got the soil coming in, it is now finally wending its way over. It's still not going to change anything. Uh, nothing drastic at the moment. They're loading those in, and they're going to load in some more soil as well. Uh, all that's going to happen for now is that we're going to make tree seeds, and we're going to make lots of tree seeds. It's going to fill everything up. And then once everything is filled up with tree seeds, then, uh, although actually tree seeds, we've already got it mostly filled. See? Most of it is already filled up with the tree seeds, and it does make four at a time for five soil, so it's not too bad. Um, which means that we will soon start with wood being produced in through here, which is great, because then hopefully the soil will be able to catch up a bit. I'd like that to be made faster. I think that would be the most beneficial thing. Although, that's actually making reasonably fast, especially once that backs up there. It will be being made at a reasonable rate, but I think that we could help it along by getting just a little bit more algae coming in. So let's see if we can make another one of them a minute. We can make two of them. That one needs production block three. I don't have production block three, so I will go with a standard algae farm here. I can actually make two of those just like that. That's nice and quick. And I'll also go into here and I will dump out two of them. You in here, you're throwing that out as rapid... Well, not as rapidly as you could, I suppose. You're throwing them out reasonably quickly. Uh, compost in here is... It's a little bit slow. Am I making compost as fast as I can in here? That one's empty. I think we've got room to improve the speed at which we're doing things here. I think that I think that we can we can change things around a little bit. Right, let's have a couple of these then. Hmm. I've got a lot of space here. We don't need this many of these. 
So let's get rid of one of those composters. It didn't actually give me a new compost. No, it didn't. That's good. Right. We'll get rid of one of those. And I'll remove those belts and those belts there. So that's given me a tiny little bit of extra space. And then I've got room to like put some belts around the sides of these. So I'll put one of those there, and then I will put another one of those right there. And then I will copy that, and I will put that in there. Actually, wait a minute. What recipes have I got? Oh, I've, I've only got, I've got two recipes. I'm going to do carbon dioxide and mineralized water. Give me 50 green algae, or I go with that one and keep the brown. I'm keeping the brown algae at the moment, because it's actually working out fairly well having the brown algae. And then that one's going to go there. You're going to do that, and there, and there, like that. And then I'm going to go with a copper... Oh, wait. Oh, I can't put that one in there. It's a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? Right, well, I can do that. Uh... Hmm. What shall I do here? I know what I'll do. Get rid of that. Remove it from this side completely. And go over to this side and do it in here. So I'll put... One there, one there, one there like that, and then we will go one here, there, under, over, and uh, or over and under, or something along those lines, and dump that into there, and then you can go here, just to power that one up, and then we can put an output here. And I can put an output over here, and then I can have a belt. That can run up this way, like this. That belt will go up, round, up, round, like that. And then I can do underneath, and that will go out over to that side. And then that one there can go on that side, so that I've got it running out on both sides of that belt, which is actually not going to make any difference, because it's only going onto one side of that belt. So we'll change this over a little bit. That one can go, that one can go. Uh, you can do that. Actually, I'll tell you what. You will do that. And you will go round like that. And then this one will go here. Like that. There. So I will alter the offset ever so slightly on two of these. So we have that one going on the far side and that one on the far side. And then this one near side as well as this one near side. So we've got plenty of brown algae coming into these composters. The composters will then run on down here. And prioritize... Like, I've got a weird and strange mixture of priorities going on over here. Because I get compost being returned... From this line over here, that feed there, that returns compost from the making of the chemical, from uh, making the fermentation base. That stuff gets, uh, no, sorry, the turning fermentation base into ethanol gas, I get a return of compost. So that's why we've got that little weird bit over there, isn't it? Um, and that should result in a more continuous stream of compost running down through here, which is a more continuous stream of soil running along here, there is still not enough. Although now, the speed that this is coming out, I suspect that there will be enough. This one is still running. Actually, look. Look at that. That one's full. That one's completely full there. Which means that this is backing up. That one's got a completely full load of compost in there. And then the compost in here, with the amount of algae I've got going in there, looks like the compost is going to back up. So that's just going to give me just a little tiny bit more than I'm using right at this second. And then those are all running in there, and that's dumping it straight out onto this line here. Which then... This one will soon be backed all the way up, which means that everything is going to run out on that line. All things are happening. All it, It's all good. We, we've got everything going on here. This is, this is what we want. Have I actually made it to start producing trees yet? Have we gotten as far as producing trees? We're getting there. We've got surplus seeds in each of these now. And the soil is 
it's no longer no oh, it's, it's picking up some soil and it's putting it into those so we haven't quite started with producing trees yet but we're getting much closer i need five soil for every four trees that we produce down here yet <laughs> it's we got so much stuff that we're waiting for i don't know how many it's going to accumulate in here whether it's going to go for a full stack in there before it stops or not well, everything's starting to back up a little bit. We've got the soil backed up a little bit. The compost is actually starting to back up on the line over there a little bit. But I'd like it to back up more. I'd like more action happening over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make two more of those. And we're going to put those down so that we've got even more brown algae being thrown out. Which is going to increase the amount of compost that we can make with our composting plants up here. So I need to very carefully put these down and figure out exactly how I'm going to put them in. One, two, three. I haven't got space to put three up here. Space to put two right there, but I don't have space for three. And I can't put belts underneath these algae ones either because they don't quite go far enough. If I go that side, it goes to there. It doesn't reach all the way under. So I can't put the belts underneath them. Which means that I've basically I've got space for one brown algae machine in here. Well, we'll all right, we'll stick with one. We'll, we'll go with the one and we'll see how that works out. So I want to do that. There there and there like that and then i want to join that in i want to copy and paste that down onto there and then i want to put that one up and put in that i have no more room for any more of the brown algae factories here unfortunately paper up on this side we do have room for all of that and I'm actually a little bit short at the moment on brown algae by the look of it. I, although I shouldn't be because I've got 1,900 brown algae in there. So that's sort of, we got we got a buffer on, I've, I've created a buffer of um, 2,000 brown algae in there. Which, actually there's going to be way more than that because of the amount that I got in the chest. Alright, we don't need to worry about that. We have, we've got plenty and then with this extra one here coming in. That should speed this up just a little tiny bit and get us a little tiny bit more compost. And what I'm thinking is I can then extend this out down here a little bit and just put in one more of those. I need to build one. He says building two. I'm going to build two. I'm, I'm going to have two more of these. And we will put one here. And we will put one here like this. And then I will put that in there. So that can go, that can go. It's because I didn't have room down here previously. I didn't have any belt here. I uh, didn't have any belt. I didn't have any land to put the belt down on. All right, well, we had no room in the inn, in this, in this particular inn. Uh, this one here, in order to be able to join it up to that, that one, I, I need to move it out of the way. So what's that doing? That's bringing in... That's actually bringing the compost background. That's my compost line. Alright. I will bring that one. I'm going to break that one there. I'm going to put it here like this. That one's going to go up to that point. It's going to go there. It's going to twist. That's going to come out. It's going to go... Uh there and it's going to go around like that right that way nothing's changed nothing's turning corners anything like that it's just going exactly where it needs to go except that i don't have it down here bothering me on this bit because i want this bit to do that so that i can have an output there that one will go straight into that chest and this one will go over into there and then I can have an input going one, two, and three like that. I can put a power pole in here. And then I can copy those two out like that. So I've got a little bit extra. That's a little bit more soil that will be able to be made. All right, because it takes long enough to make this stuff. 
the compost is made fairly quickly. Like, if we can keep on top of all of the compost that is produced, and then I got these down here thrown out instead, that'd be absolutely brilliant. And that will be able to keep the line completely stuffed full all the way back through. And we shouldn't have any more problems. And all of our dreams will now come true. So if... Wait, there was one more bit that I wanted to do. And I need to get the solder. Where is the solder? Solder's over there. Where is the nearest point for solder? I want to be able to bring it down and join it there onto the side of the tinned copper wire run that I've got coming through. So I got coal going in that way, which goes up through there. I kind of need to keep that coal line running on there. I got coal coming down that side. Except that, oh, the coal is coming through all of that. Let's not complicate things and try and remove the coal. We will just leave it as it is. So you are going to go there, like that. And this one, I'm going to put a filter on. And I'm going to filter out the tinned copper wire, which will be there. That one. That will come out that side. And then I will do that. So that will put everything out. Put it into this. Wait. It's not tinned copper wire that I want in there. It's solder. That's what I want coming out of there. And then I've got a little tiny bit of solder now that's in there. That's waste. I've just gone and picked up everything. I... Did, I I've got too much rubbish to be running around picking up all of these. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Uh, I've got way too much rubbish that I'm carting around at the moment. This is this is starting to cause me issues. Uh, what do I want to get rid of? Like, I, I've got one gear right there. Except a lot of these things I am actually using. The basic data cores, I've got no need for those. Where can I get rid of them? Do I need them for manufacturing anything? Over? I don't think I do, but I can drop them. I can actually just drop them in here. Put them out of the way. Right. Basic data cores. I've gotten rid of them. And then I've got a load of seeds. Uh, so I'll bring those down. We'll go to the farming zone that I've got over here. And I'm going to build a standard chest. Uh, I'll go with a big chest. I'll go with one of those. Because I can at least use them for some other things. I suppose. Right. That one. I'll put that one down there, and then into here, I'm going to put Tintin, Ocarinomi, Elendilimone. Are there any others? Plus the gaseous puffer eggs, because I don't want to accidentally destroy all of those. Uh, don't think there's anything else that I want to get... That, right, there's nothing else that I want to get rid of on there, just for a moment. So, that's cleared a little tiny bit of space. In here, I've got 14 compost now, that can go into there. I'm running around with 81 bits of paper. I don't really need that. Uh, warehouses. These other bits of crawler robo box. This is stuff that I do want. Uh, the algaes. Let me get rid of them a second. I'll just drop them. They, they can both be dropped into here. I'll put those there and those there. That's got rid of that. Um, I don't need to be running around with resin. So it's something uh, um, resin is being made down over this way. I will get rid of the resin that I'm running around with. That can be ditched. Have I got seeds? I don't. I have made an additional algae farm, which I need to deposit somewhere. <laughs> I'm not actually sure what I can do with it. I don't know where I can dump it. It's not very helpful. That's making... Oh, right, there's the resin in there. So we'll take eight resin. We'll drop it in there. And this is now operational. Look, we've got the soil running in through here. It's backing up, which means that we've got the timber working, which means that we've now got the liquid resin running as well. So everything is running where it needs to down here. This is great. This is great. This is fantastic. This is awesome. This is wonderful. So while that is doing everything it needs to do over there, I go back up this way and I can start twiltering these around. Twiltering is a word, by the way. I say so. Therefore it is. And that one can twilter that way. We'll have to go under there like that, and then... Uh, where are we going to put the... Oh, it needs to go over that side. I'll have to run it here, I'd say. And then... 
We'll go with a standard belt, bring it down to that point, and then over to here, and then it can go under. I'll do a quick run to that point there. I'm not going any further than that because I've run out of underground belts. Let's go and find some more. All right, real life just stepped in there for a moment, so it's been running for a minute or two. I'm going to grab 100 underground belts right there. I'm also going to top up my stack of... Wait, is that... Is that all I got left? We need... I need timber coming in here. Timber coming in that one, and timber coming in that one as well. I've, I've got to have a supply of timber coming here somewhere. I'm not quite sure where I can get the timber from. I mean, I had it coming from up here. I had a chest that had a load of timber in it. Where else have I got timber? I know that we're making stuff down the bottom, but where have I got it at the moment? Right now, in that chest, I got 568 timber in there. I got 2,400 in chests somewhere. But I don't quite know where. What have I got in that one? It's not in that one. It's down here, isn't it? All right, we, we extracted a whole load of timber from this region. And then I ended up having that brought back over to... It's right where I am, actually, isn't it? Yeah, there. Right, well, what we can do then is if we run back this way. I know where the timber is. I know where, well, where we've got some of the timber, so we'll just use this. It's right in that chest there. I've got several stacks of it. So how do I get that up onto there? I need to get timber coming out. Now, I only want timber. I don't want anything else. And at the moment, I don't have... Yes, I do. I have a filter inserter right there. Brilliant. Ab 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 absolutely, absolutely fantastic. And also absolutely fantastic. So we're going to do something slightly different here. I've got that chest there. I'm going to have another one of those. So what have I got in this one? I've got no logistics filters on that one. This one does have a filter that's got the basic transport belts. And then that one is having everything else stacked into it. What I need to do is I need to get a belt coming up. And I just want to stick some timber onto the side of there. So I... Yeah, I, I wanted to change that one over. I want to put another belt... Over. I want to put another chest here. There, like that. And I want to put an underground belt... Let's pick that one up. I put an underground belt. That can go around there. And then a belt to there. And then I will get the chest that I've made. And, uh, well, that I've got. And I'll dump that one down there. And then that can go around like that. Now, what I've also got carting around is one of these. And if I put the robo box there right next to it. I won't do that. I want that one. Robo box right next to it. That is now in range and it's able to be utilized. So this one, turn that round and start taking everything out and putting it into this chest. Everything will then, like that's going to take a minute or two. We will slowly empty that one out and then everything will end up backed into this chest. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. I'm going to take that filter inserter that I've just gone and made. And that one is going to go there like that. And I'm going to have my pickup. Uh, we're going to whitelist in here. Actually, I'm not going to make the whitelist yet. Get rid of that. I'll put that one down there. Right. It's not going to put anything out yet because I haven't created my whitelist. Then I will run... Well, unfortunately, that is all we've got time for. We will come back tomorrow and we will carry on with the bat challenge. Continue trying to make a thousand of absolutely everything. But whilst I take a little short break and try to catch me a door flirt. Uh, if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye. And see you later.